Welcome back, coin enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the world of numismatics to uncover the, uncover the value of a seemingly ordinary coin the 1950 with D. Wheat Penny. In the world of coin collecting, even a penny can hold significant value, especially when it's a rare find like the 1950 with D. Wheat Penny in mint condition, this coin could fetch a pretty penny, pun intended. But what about when it's dirty and worn? Even in less than perfect condition, the 1950 with D. Wheat Penny can still hold value. Let's break it down. Despite its dirty appearance, the 1950D Wheat Penny with the D Mint mark is quite sought after by collectors its rarity and historical significance contribute to its value but how much could a dirty 1950 with D Wheat Penny fetch in today's market? Recent auctions have shown that even in dirty condition this coin can still sell for anywhere $600,500 of dollars dollars depending on factors such as the level of dirt and wear. So if you stumble upon a dirty 1950 D Wheat Penny in your collection, or while coin hunting don't dismiss it, just because of its appearance, it could be hiding more value than meets the eye. Value and significance of the Roosevelt One Dime 1983 with P the Roosevelt One Dime 1983 with the elusive P mint mark, this little gem has been turning heads in the numismatic community for quite some time, and for good reason. First off, let's address its rarity. The P-Mint mark indicates that this dime was minted in Philadelphia, adding an extra layer of exclusivity to its allure. Now, when we talk about value, we need to consider a few key factors. Condition is paramount in determining the worth of any coin, and this dime is no exception. In uncirculated condition, with sharp details and lustrous surfaces, its value skyrockets. But it's not just about the condition. Historical significance and demand also play crucial roles. The 1983 P. Roosevelt dime holds a special place in history as part of the iconic Roosevelt series, honoring the legacy of one of America's greatest presidents. Now, let's talk numbers. In today's market, a Roosevelt One Dime 1983 with P in uncirculated condition can fetch anywhere from $66,500 of dollars. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these beauties, make sure to handle it with care and consider getting it professionally graded to maximize its value. And there you have it, folks. The Roosevelt One Dime 1983 with P, a tiny treasure with big value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep your eyes peeled for this elusive gem. Explore the value of the 2021 P Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar, famously known as Crossing the Delaware. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this particular quarter so special? Well, let's start with its design. The reverse features General George Washington leading his troops across the icy Delaware River during the Revolutionary War, a moment of immense historical significance. But beyond its stunning design, what really sets this coin apart is its rarity and condition. Being a 2021 issue with the P Mint mark, these coins are relatively scarce, especially in uncirculated condition like this one. Now, when it comes to determining the value of a coin like this, several factors come into play. Firstly, its rarity and historical significance play a significant role. As mentioned, the 2021 P Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Crossing the Delaware is not as widely circulated as other quarters adding to its allure for collectors. The 2021 P Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar is highly sought after by collectors due to its limited mintage and iconic design. In uncirculated condition, its value can be quite substantial. Indeed, collectors are willing to pay a premium for coins like these, especially if they are in pristine condition. It's not just about the metal content, it's about the story and history behind the coin. So, how much is a 2021 P Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar crossing the Delaware worth in today's market? Well, it can vary depending on factors such as condition demand and market trends. However, in uncirculated condition, you can expect its value to be anywhere from ten thousands of dollars or even more. But remember the value of a coin is not just about its monetary worth, it's about the joy of collecting, preserving history, and appreciating the artistry behind each design. Up, explore the value of the Franklin Pierce $1 coin minted in uncirculated condition, so what makes this coin worth more than its face value? Firstly, let's talk about its historical significance. Franklin Pierce served as the 14th President of the United States from 1853 to 1857, so this coin is not just a piece of currency, it's a tangible link to a pivotal period in American history. Next, let's examine its condition. Uncirculated coins, like this one, are those that have never been used in day-to-day -day transactions they're pristine, with no signs of wear or damage, making them highly sought after by collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. 
The value of the Franklin Pierce $1 coin in uncirculated condition can vary depending on factors such as rarity demand and overall market conditions. However, as of today, you can expect to see prices ranging from $400,500. Remember the true worth of a coin goes beyond its monetary value. Each coin tells a story, and owning a piece of history, like the Franklin Pierce $1 coin, is truly priceless. Next up the 1982 Lincoln One Cent coin without a mint mark. Ever wondered why this tiny piece of copper holds such value? Now let's talk about the 1982 Lincoln Penny in 1982. The US Mint transitioned from making pennies with a 95% copper composition to a 97.5% zinc core plated with a thin layer of copper. However, there's a catch during this transition year, some pennies were accidentally minted without a mint mark. These coins are incredibly rare and sought after by collectors, but what makes this particular coin valuable in today's market, especially if it's in very fine condition? Well, rarity plays a significant role. Due to the absence of a mint mark, these coins are scarce compared to their counterparts. Additionally, the condition of the coin also matters a coin in very fine condition means it has minimal wear and retains most of its original detail. Now let's talk numbers. In today's market, a 1982 Lincoln penny without a mint mark in very fine condition can fetch anywhere from $100,789 or even more depending on factors like demand, condition, and overall scarcity. But it's not just about the monetary value. Each coin tells a story, reflecting a piece of American history. Holding this 1982 Lincoln penny is like holding a piece of the past, a tangible connection to our nation's heritage. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, keep an eye out for these hidden treasures. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a rare gem like the 1982 Lincoln One Cent coin without a mint mark. Next up, uncover the story behind the Franklin Pierce 14th President $1 coin. Join me as we explore its history significance and current market value first. Let's journey back to the mid-19th century, when Franklin Pierce served as the 14th President of the United States from 1853 to 1857 during his tenure, a unique commemorative coin was minted in his honor. Now fast forward to today. The Franklin Pierce $1 coin minted in 2010 as part of the presidential dollar coin program holds both historical and numismatic value. But what exactly determines its worth in today's market? Several factors come into play when assessing the value of a Franklin Pierce $1 coin Firstly, its condition is paramount coins in uncirculated condition meaning they haven't been used in commerce and retain their original luster tend to fetch higher prices. Additionally, the rarity of the coin influences its value. While millions of Franklin Pierce $1 coins were minted, finding one in pristine uncirculated condition can be a challenge, thus increasing its desirability among collectors. So how much can you expect to pay or receive for a Franklin Pierce $1 coin in uncirculated condition? As of today, its value typically ranges from $89,500, depending on factors such as demand rarity and overall market conditions. However, it's essential to note that values may fluctuate over time. Influenced by various economic and collector-driven factors, therefore, staying informed about the numismatic market is crucial for both buyers and sellers alike. In conclusion, the Franklin Pierce 14th President $1 coin is not only a piece of American history but also a prized collectible in today's numismatic world. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a history enthusiast, its value transcends time. Next up, explore the value of a rare gem, the Washington Quarter Dollar 1969 large date absent of any mint mark and preserved in extra fine condition. Join me as we unlock the mysteries and unravel the worth of this elusive coin in today's market. First, let's understand the significance of the Washington Quarter Dollar 1969 large date. Minted during a pivotal period in American history, this coin bears the iconic profile of our nation's first president, George Washington on the obverse, and the majestic bald eagle on the reverse. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Why is the absence of a mint mark significant you see in 1969 the US? Mint primarily produced quarters in Philadelphia and Denver with each location typically adding a mint mark to indicate its origin. However, a small batch of Washington quarters was struck in Philadelphia without a mint mark making them exceedingly rare. Next, let's talk about condition. The extra fine grade denotes a coin with minimal wear still retaining its original luster and crisp details. Coins in this condition are highly sought after by collectors. 
Now, the burning question, what's the value of this numismatic treasure in today's market, spite its scarcity? The value of the Washington quarter dollar 1969 large date varies depending on factors such as condition demand and prevailing market conditions. Recent auctions and sales have seen these coins fetch anywhere from 300,000s of dollars with prices continuing to appreciate over time. Those looking to acquire or invest in this rare beauty thorough research authentication and consulting with reputable numismatic experts are essential steps. In conclusion, the Washington quarter dollar 1969 large date without a mint mark in extra fine condition stands as a testament to America's rich numismatic heritage, its value transcending mere currency. Next up uncover the value of the Andrew Jackson 7th President $1 coin minted between 1829 and 1837 Andrew Jackson the 7th President of the United States left an indelible mark on American history. And this coin, minted during his presidency, serves as a tangible reminder of his legacy. But what is its value in today's market? First, let's talk about condition. As with any collectible coin, the value of the Andrew Jackson $1 coin largely depends on its condition. Coins in uncirculated condition, like the one we have here, fetch higher prices in the market. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. In today's market, an Andrew Jackson 7th President $1 coin in uncirculated condition can command a value ranging from $300,800 or even more, depending on factors such as rarity and demand. To put this into perspective, let's take a look at the historical prices of this coin over the years. While the value has fluctuated, it has generally trended upwards, making it an attractive investment for collectors. So why is the Andrew Jackson $1 coin worth what it is today? Well, it's a combination of factors, its historical significance, limited mintage, and the enduring popularity of collecting presidential coins all contribute to its value. Furthermore, as more and more collectors enter the market, the demand for these coins continues to grow driving prices higher. In conclusion, the Andrew Jackson 7th President $1 coin is not just a piece of currency, but a piece of history. Its value in today's market reflects not only its rarity and condition, but also the enduring fascination with presidential memorabilia. Next up, explore the value of a particular gem, the 1990 large date Kennedy half dollar with the elusive P mint mark. Hey there, collectors. Have you ever come across a 1990 Kennedy half dollar with a large date and a P mint mark? If so, you might be holding on to quite the treasure. Let's talk about why. First off, let's address the rarity of this coin. In 1990, the Philadelphia Mint struck Kennedy half dollars with both large and small date varieties. The large date version is significantly scarcer, making it a sought after piece among collectors. Rarity alone isn't enough to determine a coin's value. Condition plays a crucial role as well. If you're lucky enough to have one of these beauties in uncirculated condition, you're in for a treat. Uncirculated coins are those that have never been used in transactions and show minimal to know where this preserves the coin's original luster and detail, making it even more desirable to collectors. So how much is a 1990 large date Kennedy half dollar with P mint mark in uncirculated condition worth in today's market? Well, it varies depending on factors like demand, rarity, and overall condition. As of now, these coins can fetch anywhere from $500,500 of dollars or more, depending on the specifics, however, prices can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay updated with the market trends. In conclusion, the 1990 large date Kennedy half dollar with P mint mark is a true gem for collectors. Its rarity, coupled with its uncirculated condition, makes it a prized possession in any collection. Next up, the 2007 Idaho State Quarter with the elusive P mint mark minted in 1890. Let's explore its worth in today's market. First off, let's talk rarity. The 2007 Idaho State Quarter, particularly those with the P mint mark, are quite scarce. Minted in 1890, these coins hold a special place in the hearts of collectors due to their limited availability. Now, let's address the condition. Uncirculated coins, like the one we have here, are highly sought after by collectors. Their pristine state preserves the intricate details and original luster, making them even more valuable. But what about its value in today's market? Well, according to recent auctions and market trends, the 2007 Idaho State Quarter with the P Mint mark in uncirculated condition can fetch anywhere from $86,500 depending on factors such as demand rarity and overall condition. For those looking to buy or sell, 
online coin marketplaces provide a platform to connect with fellow collectors and enthusiasts. Keep an eye out for auctions and listings to gauge the current value of your coin. In conclusion, the 2007 Idaho State Quarter with the P-Mint mark in uncirculated condition holds both historical significance and monetary value in today's market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a novice enthusiast owning a piece of numismatic history, like this is truly a treasure. Next up, explore the value of a specific gem, the 1990, with P. Mint Mark Kennedy half dollar in very fine condition. First off, let's break down what makes this coin so special. The 1990, with P. Mint Mark Kennedy half dollar, was part of a limited mintage making it quite sought after among collectors. Its design pays homage to one of the most beloved presidents in American history, John F. Kennedy. Now let's talk about its value in today's market. A 1990p mint Mark Kennedy half dollar in very fine condition can fetch a pretty penny, pun intended. The value typically ranges from $100,678, but this can vary based on factors such as rarity, demand, and overall condition. So, what exactly contributes to its value? Well, for starters, the P mint mark indicates that this coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Additionally, its very fine condition means that it retains a significant amount of detail despite some wear and tear, adding to its allure. If you're looking to assess the value of your own 1990p mint mark Kennedy half dollar consulting a reputable price guide or online marketplace is a good place to start. Keep in mind that factors like the coin's overall appearance, any imperfections and market trends can influence its value. In conclusion, the 1990p mint mark Kennedy half dollar in very fine condition is not just a piece of currency, but a piece of history. Its value extends beyond its monetary worth, representing a tangible connection to a pivotal moment in American politics and culture. Next up, explore the value of the 2015 Saratoga commemorative quarter dollar with P mint mark. Stay tuned to discover its worth in today's market. First off, let's talk rarity. The 2015 Saratoga quarter was minted to commemorate the Saratoga National Historical Park in New York with a limited mintage, especially those with the P mint mark from the Philadelphia Mint. These coins are sought after by collectors. Beyond its historical significance, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role in determining its value. An uncirculated coin, like the one we have here, maintains its original luster and detail making it highly desirable among collectors. Now let's get down to the numbers. In today's market, the value of a 2015 Saratoga commemorative quarter dollar with a P mint mark in uncirculated condition can vary. However, on average, it can fetch anywhere from $200,500 of dollars. But why is this coin worth collecting? Well, apart from its monetary value, collecting coins like these allows us to preserve a piece of history each coin tells a story, and by owning one you become a custodian of that story, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out. In the 2015 Saratoga commemorative quarter dollar with P mint mark is a gem worth adding to your collection. And there you have it folks. The fascinating journey into the value of the 2015 Saratoga commemorative quarter dollar. If you recover the value of the 2008 Oklahoma State Quarter Dollar with a P mint mark, the 2008 Oklahoma State Quarter Dollar holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its homage to the state's rich history and heritage. But what about its value in today's market in uncirculated condition? This coin can fetch a significant sum, especially if it's well-preserved and maintains its original luster. Firstly, let's consider its rarity. The 2008 Oklahoma State Quarter with P mint mark is part of the State Quarter series minted in 2008, making it relatively common, however. Its value can increase based on its condition and historical significance. We evaluate its condition. Uncirculated coins, like this one, are prized for their pristine appearance free from wear and tear. Grading plays a crucial role in determining value the higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. Coins graded MS65 or higher are considered desirable by collectors and can command a premium price in today's market. The value of a 2008 Oklahoma State quarter with a P mint mark in uncirculated condition can range from $88,500 depending on factors like grade demand and overall market conditions. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out the 2008 Oklahoma State quarter with a P mint mark is a noteworthy addition to any collection offering not only historical significance, but also potential value appreciation over time. Next up, uncover the value of the 2016 Harper's Ferry commemorative quarter dollar with the D mint mark in very fine condition. First off, let's talk about why the 2016 Harper's Ferry quarter is so special. 
This coin was released as part of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, which honors national parks and other significant sites across the United States. Harper's Ferry, located in West Virginia, is steeped in history, known for its role in the Civil War and its significance in American industry and transportation. Now let's talk value. The 2016 Harper's Ferry Quarter, especially with the D-Mint mark, holds a certain allure among collectors. Its value can vary depending on factors like condition, rarity, and demand in very fine condition, which means the coin may have some wear but still retains most of its original detail. The 2016 Harper's Ferry Quarter with the D-Mint mark can fetch a decent price in today's market. As of today, you can expect this coin to be valued at around $300,500. However, keep in mind that prices can fluctuate based on market trends and collected demand, so how can we explain its worth? Well, it all comes down to the coin's historical significance, its condition, and the level of demand among collectors. The 2016 Harper's Ferry Quarter, with the D-Mint mark, represents a piece of American history, and for collectors, owning such a piece is like owning a piece of that history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, understanding the value of coins like the 2016 Harper's Ferry Quarter can add a whole new dimension to your numismatic journey. Next up, exploring the value of the 2020 Tallgrass Prairie commemorative quarter dollar minted with the D mark and its worth in today's market. Firstly, let's appreciate the beauty of this piece minted in 2020 to honor the stunning Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve in Kansas. But this quarter features a design showcasing the iconic regal fritillary butterfly amidst the flourishing prairie grasses. Now on to its value. In uncirculated condition, this coin is a treasure sought after by collectors and enthusiasts alike. But how much is it worth in today's market? To determine its value accurately, we turn to reputable sources like coin grading services and online marketplaces. As of today, the value of the 2020 Tallgrass Prairie commemorative quarter dollar with the D mint mark in uncirculated condition can range from $65,500. Like any collectible, the value of this quarter can fluctuate due to various factors such as rarity, demand, and overall economic conditions. However, its significance in commemorating the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve adds an extra layer of value for both collectors and nature enthusiasts. If you're lucky enough to have one of these gems in your possession, consider preserving its condition to maintain its value proper storage, handling and maintenance are essential in safeguarding the integrity of this historical piece, and there you have it folks. The 2020 Tallgrass Prairie commemorative quarter dollar with the D-Mint mark holds not just monetary value, but also a piece of American history and natural heritage. Next up, explore the value of a special piece, the commemorative quarter dollar 2006 Colorado with P mint mark in very fine condition. This coin minted in 2006 pays homage to the rich history and natural beauty of Colorado, but featuring a stunning design showcasing the state's iconic landscape and symbols. Now, let's talk about its value. In today's market, the worth of this coin can vary based on several factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand. For a commemorative quarter dollar 2006 Colorado coin with a P mint mark in very fine condition, you can expect its value to range from $79,345. Firstly, let's discuss condition. Very fine indicates that the coin has some wear but still retains most of its original detail, making it highly desirable among collectors. Rarity plays a crucial role. Coins with a low mintage, like this commemorative quarter dollar, tend to command higher prices due to their scarcity. Furthermore, the demand for this particular coin among collectors can greatly influence its market value factors, such as historical significance. The design appeal and popularity contribute to its desirability. If you're looking to determine the value of your own commemorative quarter dollar 2006 Colorado P Mint Mark coin, consider consulting reputable coin dealers, numismatic experts, or online resources for accurate pricing information. And there you have it, folks. The value of the commemorative quarter dollar 2006 Colorado with P mint mark in very fine condition is a reflection of its unique blend of history, rarity, and demand in today's vibrant coin market. Next up, exploring the value of a specific coin, the 1978 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in very fine condition. So, what makes this coin worth investigating? Let's find out. First off, Let's talk rarity the 1978 Jefferson nickel was minted by the billions, but the ones without a mint mark indicating they were struck in Philadelphia are less common than those from other mints. This scarcity adds an intriguing layer to its value. 
a coin's condition significantly impacts its worth. A coin graded as very fine typically shows moderate wear, but still retains most of its original details, so if you have one in great condition like this beauty, you're already ahead in the value game. Now let's dive into the numbers. In today's market, the value of a 1978 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in very fine condition can vary. However, you can expect it to fetch anywhere from $83,500 depending on factors like demand overall condition and market fluctuations. But remember the true value of a coin isn't just in its monetary worth. Each coin carries a piece of history, a story, waiting to be uncovered so whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out exploring the world of coins can be an enriching journey. That wraps up our exploration of the 1978 Monticello 5 cents Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. Remember, the value of a coin isn't just about what it's worth in dollars and cents, but the stories and history it holds. Next up, explore the value of a particular treasure, the Washington Quarter Dollar 1967 large date without mint mark. This little beauty might not seem like much at first glance, but hold onto your hats because it's got a story to tell. First off, let's address the elephant in the room, the coin's condition. Despite some damage, which might include scratches, dents, or wear, its worth is not solely determined by its appearance. The value of a coin like this is influenced by various factors, including its rarity, historical significance, and demand in the market. Now, let's talk rarity. The 1967 Washington Quarter Dollar, without mint mark, is already a scarce find, but add to that the large date variety, and you've got yourself a real gem. Absolutely. The absence of a mint mark indicates that this coin was minted in Philadelphia, and the large date variety, well that's just the cherry on top making it even more desirable among collectors, but what about its value in today's market? Well, despite its damage, collectors are still willing to pay a pretty penny for this piece of history. That's right. While the exact value can fluctuate based on factors like market demand and the extent of damage a Washington Quarter Dollar 1967 large date without mint mark in damage condition could fetch anywhere from $300,000 of dollars or even more, depending on the collector's interest. So there you have it folks, even in less than perfect condition, the Washington Quarter Dollar 1967 large date without mint mark still holds significant value in today's market, reminding us that every coin has a story worth telling. Next up, explore the value of a special coin, the 2002 Indiana Commemorative Quarter Dollar with the P mint mark in uncirculated condition first. Let's understand the significance of this particular coin. Issued in 2002, this quarter commemorates the bicentennial of Indiana's statehood, marking the year 1816 when Indiana became the 19th state of the United States. Now, what sets this coin apart is its minting location, denoted by the P mint mark. The P stands for the Philadelphia Mint, one of the oldest minting facilities in the United States, but what about its value in today's market? Well, in uncirculated condition meaning it has never been used in transactions and retains its original luster, this coin holds significant worth among collectors. The value of this coin can vary depending on factors such as its condition rarity and demand in the market however as of today, a 2002 Indiana commemorative quarter dollar with the P mint mark in uncirculated condition can fetch anywhere from $96,000 of dollars or even more but remember, the true value of a coin goes beyond its monetary worth each coin tells a story, capturing a moment in history and preserving it for generations to come. The 2002 Indiana commemorative quarter dollar with the P mint mark, a coin worth cherishing for its historical significance and its place in the world of numismatics. Next up, uncover the value of the 2002 Louisiana commemorative quarter dollar minted with the D mark and why it's worth exploring. Firstly, let's talk about its significance. The 2002 Louisiana quarter was part of the United States Mint's 50 state quarters program, commemorating Louisiana's admission into the Union in 1812. But what sets this particular coin apart is its condition uncirculated. This means it has never been used in everyday transactions and remains in pristine condition. Now onto the value. Uncirculated coins, especially those from specific mints, like the Denver Mint tend to fetch higher prices in the market due to their rarity and condition. In today's market, the value of an uncirculated 2002 Louisiana quarter dollar with D mint mark can vary. Factors such as demand rarity and overall condition influence its worth. Currently, the value of a 2002 Louisiana quarter dollar in uncirculated condition with the D mint mark can range from $65,400 depending on various factors. 
So what makes this coin worth collecting? Aside from its historical significance and rarity, collecting coins like these is a tangible way to preserve a piece of our nation's history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 2002 Louisiana commemorative quarter dollar is a valuable addition to any collection. Next up, explore the value of the 2017 Frederick Douglass quarter dollar complete with the iconic P mint mark in uncirculated condition, the Frederick Douglass quarter minted in 2017 pays tribute to the renowned abolitionist writer and statesman Frederick Douglass, whose legacy continues to inspire generations. Now let's talk value. In today's market, an uncirculated 2017 Frederick Douglass quarter dollar with the P-Mint mark holds significant worth often fetching well above its face value. Factors influencing its value include its rarity, historical significance, and of course, its condition. Uncirculated coins, like the one we're discussing, maintain their original luster and pristine state making them highly sought after by collectors. But what about the numbers? Well, currently, in today's market, the value of an uncirculated 2017 Frederick Douglass quarter dollar with the P-Mint mark typically ranges from 100 thousands of dollars. However, this can vary depending on various factors such as market demand and coin grading. But beyond the monetary value, it's essential to recognize the historical significance encapsulated within this small piece of currency. The Frederick Douglass quarter serves as a reminder of the struggles and triumphs of those who fought for freedom and equality. In conclusion, the 2017 Frederick Douglass quarter dollar with the P-Mint mark represents not only a piece of numismatic treasure but also a symbol of resilience and progress. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a novice enthusiast, its value transcends mere dollars and cents. Next up, the commemorative quarter dollar 2015 Blue Ridge Parkway, specifically the D-Mint mark, in uncirculated condition. Let's explore its worth in today's market. The commemorative quarter dollar 2015 Blue Ridge Parkway minted in Denver is a gem among collectors. Its uncirculated condition makes it highly sought after, but what is its value in today's market? First, let's understand the significance of this coin. Released as part of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, it honors the Blue Ridge Parkway, a scenic road traversing the Appalachian Mountains, renowned for its natural beauty and cultural heritage. But what about its value? In today's market, an uncirculated commemorative quarter dollar 2015 Blue Ridge Parkway with the D-Mint mark can fetch anywhere from $300,500 depending on various factors such as its condition, rarity, and demand. Several factors influence the value of this coin, firstly its condition plays a crucial role. Uncirculated coins, like this one, command higher prices due to their pristine state. Secondly, rarity adds to its allure. While millions were minted, finding one in uncirculated condition with the D-Mint mark can be a challenge, elevating its value among collectors. Lastly, demand drives prices up. As more collectors seek to add this piece of history to their collections, its value continues to rise. Let's take a moment to appreciate the exquisite design of this coin. On the obverse, we see George Washington, the first president of the United States, while the reverse features a breathtaking view of the Blue Ridge Parkway winding through the mountains. In conclusion, the commemorative quarter dollar 2015 Blue Ridge Parkway with the D-Mint mark, in uncirculated condition, holds not just monetary value, but also historical and cultural significance. Its worth in today's market reflects a combination of rarity demand and pristine condition, making it a prized possession for any coin enthusiast. 1991, with P. Kennedy half dollar in uncirculated condition, firstly let's talk about its significance. The Kennedy half dollar was introduced in 1964, just months after President John F. Kennedy's assassination. Since then, it has become a cherished collectible, symbolizing a pivotal era in American history. Now, let's discuss its value in today's market. The 1991 with P. Kennedy half dollar, struck at the Philadelphia Mint, is particularly sought after for its pristine uncirculated condition. Its value is influenced by various factors, including rarity demand and historical significance. In today's market, the value of the 1991 P. Kennedy half dollar in uncirculated condition can range from $300,500 depending on its overall quality and any unique attributes it may possess, such as attractive toning or a sharp strike, but why is this coin valued by collectors? Beyond its monetary worth, it represents a piece of America's numismatic heritage. Each coin tells a story from its design elements to its minting process. 
The obverse features a stunning portrait of President Kennedy, while the reverse depicts the presidential seal with an eagle clutching olive branches and arrows, so how can we explain its value? It's not just about the metal, it's made of, but the historical narrative it carries and its appeal to collectors seeking a piece of Americana to treasure for generations to come. And there you have it, folks. The 1991 P. Kennedy half-dollar a timeless treasure that continues to captivate collectors worldwide. Iconic coins the Thomas Jefferson dollar minted during his presidency from 1801 to 1809. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, left an indelible mark on American history. But did you know his legacy lives on through the currency we use every day? Let's dive into the value of the Thomas Jefferson dollar in today's market. First, let's talk rarity. The Thomas Jefferson dollar, like many coins from the early 19th century, is a symbol of America's rich history. However, its value today is influenced by factors such as its condition rarity and demand among collectors. Condition is paramount in determining a coin's worth coins in pristine condition with minimal wear and tear, command higher prices in the market. Additionally, the rarer the coin, the more valuable it becomes. So how can we assess the worth of a Thomas Jefferson dollar in today's market? Well, let's break it down. On average, a circulated Thomas Jefferson dollar in good condition can fetch anywhere from 400 thousands of dollars depending on its specific attributes and market demand. For collectors seeking pristine specimens or coins with unique features, the value can soar into the 600 thousands of dollars. Variations such as mint marks errors or special editions can significantly impact the coin's value. Ultimately, the value of the Thomas Jefferson dollar is not just monetary, it's a tangible piece of history, a testament to the legacy of one of America's founding fathers. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a history buff, owning a piece of Jeffersonian history is truly priceless. Next up, uncover the value of a specific gem, the 1995, with D. Kennedy half dollar with the large date in extra fine condition. This particular coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors for several reasons. Firstly, its limited mintage, especially in the large date variety, makes it a rare find. Secondly, the Denver Mint Mark D adds an extra layer of exclusivity. Now, let's talk about its value in today's market. The 1995 D. Kennedy half dollar in extra fine condition can fetch a pretty penny pun intended. Its scarcity and historical significance contribute significantly to its price tag. In today's market, you can expect to see this coin valued anywhere from $400,000 of dollars or even more, depending on its overall condition and demand. However, it's essential to note that prices can fluctuate based on various factors such as market trends and collector preferences. So how can we explain its value? Well, it's a combination of factors, firstly its historical significance as a commemoration of President John F. Kennedy makes it highly sought after by collectors and history buffs alike. Secondly, its rarity, especially in extra fine condition adds to its allure. In conclusion, the 1995 D. Kennedy half dollar with the large date in extra fine condition is not just a piece of currency, it's a piece of American history that holds both sentimental and monetary value. Next up, we're diving into the world of coin collecting focusing on a particular gem, the 2000 New Hampshire State Quarter. Have you ever come across the 2000 New Hampshire State Quarter with the D-Mint mark? If not, you're in for a treat. Let's explore its fascinating history and current market value. First minted in 2000, as part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, the New Hampshire Quarter celebrates the state's rich history and natural beauty. This quarter features a captivating design, depicting a rock formation known as the Old Man of the Mountain alongside a soaring hawk paying homage to New Hampshire's iconic landscapes and wildlife. But what makes this particular coin special is the D-Mint mark, indicating that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. Now, let's talk value. The 2000 New Hampshire State Quarter with a D-Mint mark in extra fine condition can fetch a decent price in today's market. While prices may vary depending on factors like condition and demand, you can expect to see this coin valued at around $300,000 in extra fine condition. Of course, if you're lucky enough to find one in pristine condition or with any unique features, its value could be even higher. So whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for the 2000 New Hampshire State Quarter with the D mint mark. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a hidden treasure. Next up, the world of commemorative quarter dollars. Focusing on the 2008 Alaska State Quarter, with a P mint mark. Cut to footage of the 2008 Alaska State Quarter. 
narrator released as part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, the 2008 Alaska State Quarter pays homage to the 49th state's rich history and stunning natural landscapes. Transition to a close-up of the P-Mint mark on the quarter. Narrator what sets this particular coin apart is the P-Mint mark, indicating that it was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Cut to footage of an uncirculated 2008 Alaska State Quarter. Narrator in uncirculated condition, these quarters can hold significant value for collectors. Transars of today, the market value for an uncirculated 2008 Alaska State Quarter with a P-Mint mark can vary. Depending on factors like condition, rarity, and demand, these quarters can fetch anywhere from $300,000 or more in today's market. Collectors often seek out these quarters to add to their collections, drawn to the unique design and historical significance. And there you have it, folks. The 2008 Alaska State Quarter with a P-Mint mark, a piece of history that continues to captivate collectors to this day. Thanks for watching. Uncover the market value of a unique gem, the 2006 Nebraska Quarter Dollar with the P Mint mark, commemorating the state's entry into the Union in 1867. Hey there, fellow collectors. Have you ever wondered about the value of those shiny, uncirculated coins in your collection? Well, today we're focusing on the 2006 Nebraska Quarter Dollar, a real treasure for any serious collector. Released as part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, the 2006 Nebraska Quarter pays homage to the 37th state's rich history and heritage. But what sets this particular coin apart is its mint mark the P for Philadelphia. This signifies that the coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, adding to its rarity and allure. Now, let's talk numbers. As of today, the market value of an uncirculated 2006 Nebraska quarter dollar with the P mint mark can range from $600,000 depending on its condition and other factors. However, it's essential to keep in mind that coin values can fluctuate over time influenced by factors such as demand, rarity, and economic conditions. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, owning a piece of history like the 2006 Nebraska quarter dollar with the P mint mark can be both rewarding and potentially lucrative. And there you have it, folks. Another fascinating insight into the world of coin collecting. Remember, the true value of these coins goes beyond their monetary worth. It's the stories they tell and the history they preserve. Next up, explore the value of a special coin, the 2003 Alabama State Quarter Dollar, bearing the iconic P-Mint mark in uncirculated condition. Have you ever wondered what makes certain coins more valuable than others? Well, today we're going to unravel the mystery behind the worth of the 2003 Alabama State Quarter Dollar with the P-Mint mark in uncirculated condition. First things first, let's talk about why this particular coin is so special. Minted in 2003, this quarter commemorates the admission of Alabama into the Union in 1819, but what really sets it apart is its pristine, uncirculated condition. Take a look at the intricate design on the reverse side, featuring the Alabama State Bird, the Yellowhammer, perched atop a branch of longleaf pine along with the state's nickname Heart of Dixie Now. Let's talk value. In today's market, the value of this coin can vary depending on several factors. One key factor is its condition. Uncirculated coins, like this one, are highly sought after by collectors because they haven't been subjected to the wear and tear of circulation. Another important consideration is the coin's grade. Professional grading services evaluate coins based on factors such as luster, strike quality, and surface preservation. A higher grade typically translates to a higher value. So what's the value of the 2003 Alabama State Quarter Dollar with the P-Mint mark in uncirculated condition? Well, it can range anywhere from a few dollars to over a hundred dollars, depending on its grade and other market factors. But remember, the value of coins can fluctuate over time, so it's always a good idea to stay informed about current market trends and consult with reputable coin dealers or numismatic experts. And there you have it, folks. The story behind the value of the 2003 Alabama State Quarter Dollar with the P Mint mark in uncirculated condition. Next up uncover the value of a particular gem, the 2005 Kansas Quarter, with the elusive P Mint mark. This quarter, minted in 2005 as part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. But what sets apart this specific version with the P Mint mark? Well, the P Mint mark signifies that this quarter was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, 
adding an extra layer of rarity to its allure. Now, let's talk about its condition. A coin in good condition, like this one here, is a gem for collectors. It means that it has been well preserved over the years, maintaining its sharp details and minimal wear. Take a closer look at the intricate design of Kansas's iconic buffalo and sunflower motif. Stunning, isn't it? But the big question on everyone's mind, what's the market value of this beauty today? As of today, the market value of a 2005 Kansas quarter with P mint mark in good condition can vary, but it's not uncommon to see it valued at around $500,000 in the collector's market. However, it's important to note that the value of coins can fluctuate over time and some factors, such as rarity and demand, can significantly influence their worth. For those of you who are thinking about starting your own coin collection, Keep an eye out for coins like this one with unique mint marks and designs, and always remember to handle your coins with care to maintain their condition. That wraps up our exploration of the 2005 Kansas Quarter with the P mint mark. Remember, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, there's always a story waiting to be discovered in the world of coins next up. The fascinating world of commemorative quarter dollars, focusing on the 2011 Chickasaw Quarter with a P mint mark. Ever wondered about its uncirculated coin market value? Well, stick around because we've got you covered. First off, let's talk about the significance of this particular quarter. The Chickasaw National Recreation Area, located in Oklahoma, is honored on the reverse side of this coin, showcasing its iconic limestone rock formations and serene nature. Now, onto the coin itself. The 2011 Chickasaw Quarter, struck at the Philadelphia Mint, features a P mint mark, distinguishing it from quarters minted at other facilities. Its uncirculated condition means it's never been used in transactions, maintaining its pristine appearance. But what about its market value today? Well, it's always essential to consider various factors such as demand, condition, and rarity when assessing a coin's worth. As of our latest research, an uncirculated 2011 Chickasaw quarter with a P mint mark can fetch anywhere from $400,000 in the current market. Of course, prices can fluctuate over time, influenced by factors like collector interest and economic conditions. It's a good idea to stay updated with reputable sources and consult with experienced collectors or numismatic experts for the most accurate valuation. And there you have it, folks. The 2011 Chickasaw Quarter with a P mint mark, a beautiful piece of American history with a modest but meaningful market value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey, be sure to appreciate the stories behind each coin you encounter next. Up uncover the value of the 2006 North Dakota quarter dollar with the P mint mark in uncirculated condition now. You might be wondering, why is this particular coin significant and what makes it valuable in today's market? Firstly, let's talk about its design. The North Dakota quarter dollar, part of the 50 state quarters program, features the iconic American bison and a lovely sunset, paying homage to the state's natural beauty and rich history. But what sets this coin apart is the P mint mark, indicating it was minted in Philadelphia. Now, when it comes to value, several factors come into play rarity demand and condition all influence the price of a coin in uncirculated condition. Like this one here, the coin has retained its original luster and has no signs of wear or damage this increases its desirability among collectors, as finding coins in such pristine condition becomes increasingly rare over time. Additionally, the historical significance of the coin being part of the 50 state quarters program and representing North Dakota's entry into the Union in 1889 adds to its appeal. So, what's the value of this coin in today's market? Well, it can vary based on factors like current demand, market trends, and overall economic conditions. However, as of 2024, an uncirculated 2006 North Dakota quarter dollar with the P mint mark can fetch anywhere from $89,900 in the collector's market. In conclusion, the value of the 2006 North Dakota quarter dollar with the P mint mark in uncirculated condition is not just in its monetary worth, but also in its historical significance, rarity and desirability among collectors. Next up, exploring the value of the 2015 Homestead commemorative quarter dollar with the P mint mark in uncirculated condition. Before we delve into the coin's value, let's take a brief trip down memory lane. The Homestead National Monument of America, located in Nebraska, commemorates the Homestead Act of 1862, which granted settlers 160 acres of public land. It's a significant piece of American history, and this quarter pays tribute to it. Now, let's talk value. The 2015 Homestead quarter dollar, with the P mint mark, in uncirculated condition, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. Its rarity, combined with its historical significance, 
contributes to its worth in today's market. In today's market, the value of this coin can vary depending on several factors, including its condition demand and overall rarity. However, on average, it can fetch anywhere from 200 thousands of dollars. What makes this coin so valuable? Well, first and foremost, its uncirculated condition ensures that it retains its original luster and detail. Collectors prize coins that have been preserved in such pristine state. Additionally, the limited mintage of this particular coin adds to its allure. With fewer examples available in uncirculated condition, collectors are willing to pay a premium to add it to their collections. And there you have it, folks. The 2015 Homestead commemorative quarter dollar with the P mint mark in uncirculated condition is not just a piece of currency, it's a piece of history. Its value in today's market reflects its rarity, condition, and historical significance. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin is definitely one to keep an eye on. Next up, explore the value of the 2017 Ellis Island commemorative quarter dollar with a P mint mark in uncirculated condition. So, what makes this particular coin special? Well, besides its stunning design commemorating Ellis Island, this quarter was minted in limited quantities with a P mint mark, indicating it was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Ellis Island holds immense historical significance as the gateway for millions of immigrants to the United States, making this coin a tangible piece of American history. Now, let's talk value in today's market. The value of the 2017 Ellis Island quarter dollar in uncirculated condition with a P mint mark can vary depending on several factors. Firstly, rarity plays a significant role. Since this coin was minted in limited quantities, its scarcity increases its value among collectors. Condition is crucial. Uncirculated coins, like the one we're discussing, are prized for their pristine appearance with no signs of wear or damage. Additionally, the overall demand for the coin in the collector's market influences its value. As more collectors seek to add this piece to their collections, its value can appreciate over time. So, what's the bottom line? While exact values fluctuate as of today, the 2017 Ellis Island commemorative quarter dollar in uncirculated condition with a P mint mark can fetch anywhere from $97,600. In conclusion, the 2017 Ellis Island quarter dollar isn't just a piece of metal, it's a symbol of America's rich history and a valuable addition to any coin collection. Thanks for joining me on this numismatic journey. Until next time, happy collecting.